Hey everybody, Jake here, and it's time for This Week in Ink number nine, I think. I think it's right. I'm here with Josh. Hello again. And we have some fresh new topics. I do have a few quick channel updates that I'll go ahead and um, go ahead and tell you guys about. Um, number Wait, number nine? Yeah, I think this is number nine. Let me... Yeah. It is? Sorry. Are you sure? Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no. I'm positive now, yeah, because I just looked it up on okay. YouTube and I was in number eight. <laughs> so I was like, wait a minute. I just want to make sure. Are we in number off? Yeah, we're good. I want to make sure. Um, so one of the viewers was like, hey, you guys should show your faces. It's not going to happen. This is like a podcast format. And also introducing video to this makes it so much more complicated for me. And I'm already working with it, just a ton of... You guys like, got to remember, like, he's he's doing this out of like his love for pens speaking and of, i'm not saying you you can't do this out of your love for pens but like <laughs> he, he does have another job and this takes up a lot of his free time you mean so, all of my free time i'm not trying to be mean about it but yeah no. it's, um it takes a minute yeah it's usually it's either i'm at work i'm working on music or i'm doing this um speaking of me doing this out of my love for pens um i reach out to a lot of companies because i'm a small channel i can't afford to buy a lot of stuff to see if they'd be interested in sending me their products for a fair review. I'm not going to state any names because there was some non-disclosure agreement stuff kind of in the exchange. But um, basically this company, I reached out to them. I was like, hey, I'd love to take a look at your pen. Would you be interested in sending, you know, loaning me one for review? And they were like, well, we actually only send pens to advertisers, but if you're interested. And I was, I was like, um... I only do reviews because I, I don't want to like get a free product and me do an ad for you guys. It's it's I'm giving my honest opinion to let you know whether or not you should actually pay for something because money is money and you earn that money and you should spend it on something that's not you know a piece of crap. So um, I politely turned them down. They offered a coupon um, for, to. Yeah. assist me paying for the pen so i was like sure you know if you're still well, that's nice of them i'm glad they did that and then they were like by the way the offer still stands if you ever want to make some money and so they included money in this now and i'm not gonna lie a very small part of me is like ooh, money but <laughs> ooh, yeah it's but money. <laughs> i turned them down again um because like you said josh i'm doing this out of my love for pens and knives and other things yeah yeah, yeah. and i'm Generally, I spend money and review this stuff so that you guys know, you know, if you're going to buy this, is it worth it, in, you know, Jake's opinion. Um, if that's all this is, is my opinion. But I don't want to contaminate that. I don't want to bring in... Well, one, ads are annoying. I understand that. Um, I don't want to bring in money from basically saying, oh, this pen is flawless. This review is not a lie. There's nothing wrong with this pen. I found something wrong with every single pen product whatever i've reviewed because there's nothing's perfect and even with them offering me money i'm not going to tell them that their product is perfect especially not to this channel where i've worked very hard to have all these subscribers and even though it's not a ton it seems like a lot to me that being it's said if you do feel like supporting me financially um, if you go to the about section on my YouTube page, I do have a Patreon there. You can donate a dollar or a billion dollars if you just want me to quit my job and make YouTube videos all day. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was interesting. That was the first ad that I've gotten offered and I, it was kind of weird. I don't know. I, I feel strange taking money to lie about products, but you know, um, another thing, I mean, oh, go ahead. other people do it. You might as well do it yourself. But I don't want that. I want I I have artistic integrity, which I didn't know I had until <laughs> I didn't know I had until today. I had always kind of joked about like I'll I'll sell out any minute, <laughs> as far as like this channel is concerned. His true value. But it but it came we down to it, and I I couldn't I couldn't do it. I was like, no, I'm not gonna rip these people off. That's stupid. These people trust me. I think maybe, and I'm not going to sacrifice that. So. You won't be getting any pen or knife, etc. ads from me saying that this product is perfect because they're giving me, I don't know. I mean, if they give me a hundred grand, I'll lie to y'all's faces, but <laughs> 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 no, but you, you won't be seeing any of that on the channel. Um, two other things. So, um, 
reached out to the pen addict after last week's podcast and they gave me a shout out on this week's podcast Woo! yeah <laughs> so that was, was kind of cool i don't think anything really came of it to be honest but it's still great it was still it was exciting and then also today um josh you don't know about this because you're not super into knives know. but there's okay. a channel called cedric and ada gear and outdoors and it's just this guy named pete and he, the Cedric and Ada are his dogs. But um, I've been watching his channel for... Oh, I was going to say, wait, 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 wait. Where's, where the fuck's the names from? I've been watching his channel for a while. And basically, um, his most popular video in terms of watch time is a joke review of his short-haired cat named Basil. Oh, I love cats. <laughs> and I do too, but... Um, so he... Let me see if I can find the post real quick. Yeah, so he basically went on Instagram and he posted. And his watch time for this cat video over the past 28 days has been 159,285 minutes. Hold on. His next, his next mm. highest one is 66,000. So it's a 90,000 minute difference. Jesus. So I, I jokingly commented, I was like this, Oh, um, a little bit of a warning. There may be some explicit language in here. I apologize. There's not, there, it, it's not maybe there will be, cause I'm going to read this word for word. I said, this shit's making me insecure. My top video is sitting around 2,000 minutes. I need to include more cats, obviously. And so... We um, should! Yes, yeah, so he... Perfect idea. He replied, but then um, he subscribed to my channel. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then he oh. shared one of my videos. And a few things happened Oh, from my this. God. <sighs> um, so he doesn't have a huge channel either, but he's significantly larger in terms of subs than I am. Um, so a couple things happened. Um, he shared my Kara's Customs Decograph review. That pin review has doubled in views from what it was this morning. I've also gained about 13 subscribers, which is the most I've ever gained in a day, which was pretty cool. Um, so that was that one did have a direct impact, and it was very sudden and very quick, and it kind of threw me threw me off. But um, thank you to Brad Dowdy and Mike from the Pin Addict. Thank, thank you guys. You. Um, Seriously, thank you so much. Thanks, awesome. thanks Pete from Cedric and Ada Outdoors. Thank Gear you as well. Outdoors. And yes. tell Basil I said hey, and Cedric and Ada. Um, go watch his videos, by the way, if you guys haven't. If you're into knives at all, he t- he does really not scientifically accurate, but very nice steel tests, and you can kind of see, you know, is VG10 this much better than S35VN? It's not. That's the opposite. Flip that, flip that around. <laughs> VG10's worse than S35VN. But he can tell you by how much, uh, roughly. Um, so, yeah, he has some pretty interesting stuff. But thanks to all those guys. Um, pen company that offered me money. Um, not right now. Probably not ever, but not definitely not right now. Um, what else? Is there anything else that I can think of? Oh, um, so I was uh, talking with one of my friends the other day. And he jokingly said I should do an ASMR video. <laughs> And Josh, I don't think you've seen this yet, but I posted one today. No, I have not. Yeah, I did. Um, oh my god! It's called an autonomous sensory <laughs> meridian response everyday. Vid- every- I'm sorry, the tiles rang out. Everyday carry overview and auditory journey. Um, it is equal parts cringy and funny, mostly cringy because ASMR is just cringy in and of itself, in my opinion. But yeah, it came out okay. It took forever, so I'll never do that again, even as a joke. But um, I've also officially created a somewhat satirical playlist of the two videos I have that are funny to me. Um, one of them is a very not, like, a lot of people haven't watched it, but it's called my Extended Extended EDC. I highly recommend you checking it out. It's, <laughs> I, think it's I think it's funny as hell, but it's just me. Um, do you have anything you want to talk about real quick, Josh, before we get into... The topics? Um. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. No, I mean, not really. Uh. I'm just, like, super proud that you, like, got a shout out. I mean, it required very little effort on my part, I think. It's regardless, it's a shout out. (laughs) Shout out's a shout out. It doesn't require much effort. Yeah, Pinnack, Pinnack's great. Connect is great. I watch them on and off. They have hundreds, like 300 and something episodes. I was going to say, yeah, episodes, there's like so. 325, Ugh, I think Jesus. is the episode that they did a call out. And I'm like, that's... Yeah, Okay, I'll, I'll stop because I can't, st- I can't start at one and go to 300. It's, <laughs> I watch them and I remember I can barely, too. I can barely do that with like reading stuff. Like, I just, I can't, guys. It's too much. Um, but thank you, once again, yeah, thank you all for 
Yeah, shout everyone out. who has Super helped great. me out with the channel this week, thanks a ton. Like it's helped. It's yes. a no- noticeable help. But yes. um, uh, pin time. Oh my gosh, I oh. did not think you said pin time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said something completely different. <laughs> do you do you know what I thought you said? No, but it's so it much. starts with an I'm H. Hentai? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? No. <laughs> no. Um, oh, um, real quick. Um, what I'm carrying today, I don't know if you carried a pin with you today or not. I know you said you've been losing them at work. Um, carry the Twisby Eco T <clears throat> and that fugly yellow green with Diamond J green. Um, I like the green. Yeah. Oh, one more shout out I gotta do real quick. Yeah, I know this is, okay. I know this is a pen podcast. But, I mean, um, there's this guy, Hey Matthew, he designed my space cap pin sleeve, it is adorable. Go check his stuff out. I also just got my custom scales back that he did, and they are beautiful. Um, you can go check out my Instagram to see that. They are gorgeous. They came out perfect, and I love it. So I wanted to give him a shout out as well. He can do custom anodization on titanium, whether that be a nib, a pin, a knife, whatever in the hell you have as titanium. He can probably do it. Um, you can DM him on Instagram for pricing and stuff like that. But it, in from what I found, it was one of the cheaper options, and he did a great job. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So let's go ahead and get into these topics. So um, I ran a pen today. You did? Yeah, I actually took it to work because I was like, you know what? I don't have a pen at work because Wh- I lost my other pen. And what did you take? I'm super sad that I lost my other pen. Which one did you lose? It was no no no. It's not that it's a ballpoint. Oh, that garbage! Work. I got oh, it for free, and I'm like, oh, garbage. this is such a nice it's ballpoint. Roller ball. It was just a regular ballpoint. Ballpoint. It was not ball. Anyway, it was free. Okay, it's a good pen. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's um my silver lamy with the green top. I forgot what it's called. I forgot what it's called now. Next. It's gonna make me go crazy. The next. Thank you. You're welcome really nice pen i love it the nib is so um, smooth on thing. it it's is ridiculous man it is fantastic, really fantastic good for nib. a cheap pen oh yeah i had the um dc super violent it's called dc wait give me one second let me get back up i just looked at it again yeah dc super violent it's from a spring sample pack i know which one you're talking about yes yep from private reserve yep private reserve yeah i got it at the pin convention it's really nice it's a really nice color actually it's very Dark. You did. If you go check out our Atlanta Pin Show recap day one, you can see what he's talking about. Watch the whole video. Yes, it really helps it my watch time because it's like 30 minutes <laughs> long. <laughs> but yeah, the nib on that thing is fantastic. Really nice. Yes, that pen honestly is it's an absolutely beautiful pen. I love it. I'm the picture when I first was gonna get it was supposed to be like a lighter green color I thought, but I still like it. Whatever, I it's still pretty. Yeah, a little salty about that, but it's a really nice pen overall. Really nice nib. While you're talking about that color, because you just reminded me of something, scroll all the way down to the last link I posted on Discord. It's an eBay link. Was it? And go ahead and open that Oh, up. yeah, the Coco Retro, the Keiko. So, Keiko? I, I have no idea. I'm going to figure out how to pronounce it before the video, too. Um, so, I saw this today on Instagram, and I love the look of this pen. It has a hooded nib, um, kind of like um, Wami 2000, Parker 51, but it looks like a fairly original design, not because it's well-designed, but it's very minimal. Anyway... Josh, can you possibly guess which color I ordered? Mm, I'm probably going to say that light blue one. You're damn right with that with that orange yeah, clip. With that. Ugh, I just... Love it. I don't hate it. I actually really like the pen. I just feel like the little ball at the end of it is so ugly. I think that clip is going to be fragile as hell. Oh, yeah, it looks really thin. I'm but, fairly positive it's going to break very easily. But I like the aesthetic of this pen, so I'm curious. It also looks very tiny. Um, so um, that, mm, that is aesthetic. Aesthetic. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're going to see how this does. They're like 10 bucks, so I, of course, ordered one immediately. <laughs> I was going <laughs> to order two, but I was like, what the hell are you going to do with two pens in the exact same size? You know size? what? Stupid. Just in case one breaks, we got another one now. I kind of wanted the orange one with the navy blue um, clip as well. But, yeah. Really nice, um, yeah. By the way, guys, all of these links will be 
in the description so you can follow along. Um, okay, let's get on to the real topics. So go ahead and open up your first link the there. Topics. It is the Pilot Vanishing Point Fountain Pen Crossed Lines 2018 mm -hmm. Limited Edition. Mine is not pulling up the picture. Give me a second. That's okay. Like, I didn't realize this in the beginning, but like the picture is... Okay, there we go. So for some reason, on Goulet Pants for me, the first picture doesn't show up, but the second picture shows up. That's I don't strange. know if they're the same thing, but it's just weird. Oh my god, is this a clickety one? It is a clicky one. It is a clicky, like a clicky one. one. <gasps> yes. So I want one of these so badly. In this color, though? I don't hate it. I it's really pretty. I hate it. Okay, for example, let me show really? you. Yeah, let me show you what a couple of the previous limited editions look like, and you're going to be like, oh, this one's shitty. <laughs> I doubt it. It's a really pretty pen. Okay, so this is last year's. This is the. Um, crimson sunrise it's an ombre from an orange to a red okay dude first of all it's a really pretty pen it's a really nice pen you can't you can't be like well here's this black one that's obviously not going to be as good as this really pretty ombre color that's what i'm saying how dare they drop this shit and be like oh yeah this is a perfectly legible choice no it's not shut up is it cheaper hell no it's the same price oh Oh, I was gonna say if it's cheaper, then I wouldn't care because guess what? It's freaking nice, and it's a it's a clip pen. And here is 2015. So this is the Twilight. It is also an ombre color. These two are my favorites. Why didn't they do ombre this one? Why didn't they do it to like a white to a gray or white? Right. To silver? I would have took that. I would have loved that. I would have I would have went with like, that. But this looks like I just crap. Understand. So it looks very. I don't want to say cheap. It's boring. It, cheap. it does look it's cheap. Very boring. It looks like something you it's, get at it's Staples. It's very boring compared to the other two. Now that I see the other two, the other two are really pretty. Right? They've done ones in, they've done some in like bamboo, like wood finishes. They're gorgeous. And they pull out this piece of shit. What is this? So when I first looked at it, I was like, okay, this is fugly and it looks awful. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a chance. Maybe those, maybe those lines are inlaid silver or something or metal. They don't have to be fancy silver, but just something shiny and metallic to give it a little bit of yeah. No, depth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just white. It's just white lines. It's literally just I would say, it really segments of white looks, lines. It looks like just regular white lines. It looks like crap. Oh, they they tried it. No, they didn't, guess. Josh. They took a black vanishing point <sighs> and so, drew white so lines on the thing, and they're like, limited edition. Limited edition. I feel like they really, really slacked off on this one because of their 100th anniversary pins. They were just like, somebody came to the guy who was overseeing the 100th anniversary project and he's like hey boss we need to get out this this um this year's pilot vanishing point and he's like just here's a, a white sharpie draw on it a little bit and then just, up. And then just sell it <laughs> for 200 hey guys this is a white outline just <laughs> i screwed up a little bit just keep going with it it looks terrible it's not that terrible i have not seen anyone who was like i would pay 200 dollars for this would you pay 200 no, okay. for this okay okay, okay. This is where it's the screwed up part is. If it was under a hundred, I'd be like, yeah, that's awesome. I like the way it is. It's a clicky pen. It's beautiful. Okay. I'm actually looking at another one now. They have another one for the uh, vanishing points, and it's like a blue with the gold. I'm gonna show and you. I'm like, that would be a really pretty so pen. So look let me, in, let me show you this link. Look in Discord. Now this one is the same, same color, same trim option, but without the white lines. Ooh. And it's fifty over fifty dollars cheaper. <laughs> like, why would you not pick this one? It's not pretty, but yeah, I love the blue and gold. The oh, blue and gold um, is absolutely beautiful. If you're interested, so Pin Shelley does um they do discounts with the um code Pin Addict. There may be others, but that's just the one I know of. Um, let me find it. So, Josh, I think this is going to appeal to you quite a lot. I don't know if you have the money to buy it right now. Oh, thank you. But, no, I'm being honest because... No, this, uh, that's what I meant. Like, thank you for being very direct because I'm like, I'm probably going to tell you no. This isn't cheap, but um, I'm going to send you oh, one. God. Tell me if you like it or not. Why do you do this to me, Jacob? Oh. Is it copper? It's orange. Or is it orange? They also have it in blue. What's copper? They also kind of reminds me of Tron, like the blue and the orange. They also have Tron. it in green. <gasps> I love that green, though. Hello, it's very bright. 
So do you think these cost more or less than the normal vanishing points right now? Less. They do cost less because they've been discontinued. That's what I thought. What? Why would that? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Discontinued always ups prices. Why the? Why would that up it? I mean, lower. Oh, I love that purple, though. That purple is absolutely beautiful. You can pick them up for like $116 right now. The orange... The orange and the I love the, the orange. orange and the purple are really beautiful. I love the love I love like all of these except for the the reddish I one really which I didn't do. send you. But yeah, um, so these are one hundred and sixteen dollars right now, which is one a great deal for a vanishing point, and two yes, God, if if I didn't have one, I'd buy one of these in a freaking heartbeat. These are amazing. I was still tempted to buy one, but I don't have one hundred and sixteen dollars right now. <laughs> but yeah, they're. Oof. I would go with this and and take that extra eighty or ninety dollars and go get you like four or five bottles of Orochizuku ink. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Like the, these are so much more appealing. They have more pop than the than the lines or the crossed lines version. It's I just, just the the lines are so dumb. I don't understand the point. I don't get it, man. It looks making terrible. Making like a special edition and then just lines. being lazy about it, you know. Yeah, it would have been cool if it was like. I just like I don't even know dude like glow in the dark lines like S something to give it some pop or you you know what would have been cool. nice um I know generally this is reserved for the rod in lines but if they had done like abalone like that um kind of rainbowy shimmer um seashell yes. lines yes. that would have been awesome that would have been awesome I would have loved to have that or like Look at it in direct sunlight. Like you look at a certain angle, and the lines give you like pinpoints. Honestly, on like a map. I have a just anything would be better than just regular lines. It seems so boring. I really like copper and bronze. If they'd done either one of those, like that kind of pinkish brown metal in it to mm -hmm. offset contrast. Yes. Would have picked it up in a heartbeat. That would have been great. Yes. Go ahead and open up your next link here, and um, make sure you do it in Google Chrome or under Google Translate. Oh, yeah, I see it's in a completely different language. I had it opened already. Yeah. Um, There's a button at the top that says English. It literally just says English on it. So this is the... What Pilot has been doing oh. this year. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I like this a button that says English. Like, I was being very snobby about it, but all it does is send you to the corporate profile. You can't get past that. Nothing else is English. Anyway, I mean, if you scroll right. down, you're going to see the, the first image you're going to see is a picture of seven pins, two boxes, and a bunch of bottles yes. of ink. They're very beautiful. So this is Pilot's um, 100th anniversary. This is the top of their li top of the line option that they have. These very pins nice. are based off of the seven gods. I know nothing about them, but this is a nice set. There's only 20. Buddhism? Huh? Buddhism. I, I, I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea. I don't know. It tells you in the description, but I'm not reading it all. <laughs> wow, Jacob, way to be a team player there. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there will be a link down in the description. People can check it out. Um, the main reason I wanted to touch on this is these. there's only 25 sets of these released. You have to buy them in a set. They are 5 million yen, which is like a $500? little... $500? $50,000? I was one zero off. I apologize. Yeah, it's about it's about fifty thousand U.S. dollars. It's going to be a little bit less. Whoops. But yeah, it's it's a lot. If you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see um, some that are a bit more in our price range and still somehow nowhere near close. So the larger one is the Mount oh, Fuji. Cool. I love the Mount Fuji one, but my favorite's the little blue one. We'll get to that one in a minute. The Mount Fuji one, there's like a hundred of these made or something like that, and they're about ten grand. <laughs> Jesus. They're a lot. My personal favorite one out of all these, though, I love the Mount Fuji. That one might be my favorite, but if not, it's going to be the blue one. It's smaller, it's cheaper, and I love the detail on it. Um, it's just a boat with Mount Fuji. There's um, 800 of those. Those are about $1,500. Could I afford that? N no. Yes. <laughs> hell, hell no. <laughs> yes. But if I could afford any of these, that would be it. So this is what Pilot has spent all year giving us, and I look. Okay, this this next like fifteen seconds is gonna be open letter to Pilot. Pilot, I didn't expect much from you guys. What I really wanted, That's rude. what I really wanted, was a very special, unique, limited edition vanishing point for around two to three hundred dollars, something that I could stretch and afford. 
I don't have fifty thousand dollars to spend on pens. Thank you. So. <laughs> <laughs> the ending thank you is making me laugh. Thank you. Like thank you for not letting me spend my money. It's, my guy. I mean that's about it right now because okay, um Josh. Um you you love the pilot metropolitan. You've had several of I them. Do. I have. So if Pilot celebrated their one hundred year anniversary and put out something, um, I know your your price range is a little bit lower than mine because you like you like I said you lose your pens. If Pilot put out something pretty nice, like a, a limited edition Metropolitan, with something yes. special about it for like forty bucks, would you get it? Yes. Okay. There you go. Instantly. Okay. I'm about okay. the same way, okay, but okay, a little okay, bit okay. higher price okay, point, okay, okay. and they didn't okay. do that. They're losing money oh. here. Oh, I was about to say, wait a minute, are you trying to equate $5,000, $50,000 to 40 bucks? No, I'm talking about, so, like, I'm about like if they put out something for like $200, I would, I would get my shit together and buy it. But honestly, I mean, between $1,500 and $50,000, oh, they're gorgeous. They're immaculate. They better be. Oh, damn, Jacob. I don't think they're immaculate, but okay. Josh, um, do you know anything about Machia pens at all? God, I feel like I do. Okay, so uh, they're they're the basically made with a hard rubber called ebonite, and it has a very unique um, warm I mean. feeling you've to it. You told me this before. It's then coated with arushi lacquer, which is from the poison yep. sumac tree. You've told me that. And then it is painstakingly hand painted over the course of many many months. In layers, gold dust and paint are applied, and silver dust and other precious materials to get these so all of these are completely done 100 percent by a master craftsman that has set aside months of their time to create these pens and i get that i understand that completely but i'm not spending fifty thousand dollars on some fucking pens <laughs> <laughs> they're gorgeous say, Jacob, you, you know they come they probably could have mass produced this if my car was paid all off that trouble if my car was paid off i would get the small blue one it's gorgeous bullshit but like i would love it's it not... it's, it's uh, okay okay think about it this way though not as a usable pin but as an art piece it'd be interesting no as a, no 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 as a usable pin oh fuck no i'm not gonna i'm not eking up a 1500 pin <laughs> like you lost your damn mind i just like no 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 that better be the smoothest motherfucking like oh, writing I, I ever personally have. guarantee you if you, like, I better, if you had I better the balls be like to... accidentally slip and like it just ink like gushes out in like a beautiful cascade across the fucking paper it forms a rainbow as the write. sun refracts off of it exactly so you better believe that if you're spending fifty thousand dollars on pens one you're probably never going to uncap these motherfuckers and two you're definitely not going to put ink in them if anything if i had this set one, I'm not comfortable handing, handling something that's expensive and tailored right now. I wouldn't even be comfortable mm. handing, handling one of the bottles of ink. Even though there are some nice colors there. Um, I want those inks. Right? I wish they would release those. I love the, the light blue and the pink. Which most of my inks are light blue and pink. So, anyway. Um, I would never ink this shit up. I would, I would literally insure this in case it got damaged. <laughs> Like, how would you feel? I mean, no, that's what you do. That's what you need to do. Like, this is worth... you spend over that much money, you better have some insurance on it, guys. This is worth as much as some people's PSA. houses down here in South Carolina. Like, $50,000. I'm fairly positive. $50,000 <laughs> is... A, that's a pretty good amount of... Yeah. It's a, that's a huge amount yeah, of cash. That's, well, that's, it, that's, that's if, you're, if you're buying this, you're either a pilot diehard or a millionaire, but... So that's what Pilot has been spending their time on. Instead I'm of giving me my vanishing together. point. Those motherfuckers. They gave you your vanishing point. It just I didn't, like, didn't want They're it. like, this is, a, this is a side thought. Let's just put lines on it. That's what it seems like to me, genuinely. I'm not it joking about that. It literally is a side thought. Like, as much as I joke about it, it feels like a side thought. Looks like garbage. Anyway, next point. Anyway, segue. Next, next pen. Yep. Monteverde Monza Flex. Okay, so I reviewed the Monteverde Monza and the Jinhelm 992... I really hope I'm correct on that. At the same time, I believe I gave my Monteverde Monza to you, Josh. The orange one? Yes. Yes. It is okay at best. It's not bad. My review of it was not stellar. The the 992, the Jin Hao version of this pen, is a piece of shit. 
It's Wait, terrible. Is that the one that has ink in? The... It is. It is not. It yeah, is. they look the exact same, and the Monza came yeah, out afterwards, I it, yeah. so I don't know what's going. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. I'm not here to bash the Monza anymore, man. I'm here to talk about you how they are. just put a flex nib on it, and so you're you're still here to bash the Monza. No, 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 no. I just okay. want, I want to point out a couple things here. Okay. Okay. So Wait, before before you start pointing out things yourself, because you're gonna get very technical about it. I just want you to look at this this web page and then scroll down and look at why would they put a green pen onto the same colored green box? That's what they come in. To literally make it, it matches yep. so badly. You, like, you, when I first looked at it, I was like, this is fucking hideous. When I got my mom's, I don't think I gave you the box, but it's like this just no, you didn't. like amber, orangish color. You like threw this out like it was a, a <laughs> child. You're just like, I don't want this child anymore. So still out on the street. So I think the green's a new color, and I'm not sure. I don't care. Um, it's very pretty. So if you look at the nib here, did you watch my Conklin Duraflex review at all? Yes. Wait, is that the one with the fish nib? Yeah, exact same nib yes, on this. I did. So I, I love that actually. So I'm I'm gonna be honest with you guys here. Um, I I saw these topics, and then I just copy pasted the link into some show notes so we could talk about it as we go so i haven't looked at these yeah, beforehand yeah. i was just looking at this nib and i was like son of a bitch this looks just like the conklin omniflex nib i'm sitting here reading the description and it literally says it is the <clears throat> omniflex nib yep the monteverde monza flex fountain pen features a number five omniflex stainless steel nib so yeah, they're exactly. getting these from conklin or at least they've licensed the design or something now i'm not a big fan of this pen to be honest with you it's tiny um, for me, it's just, it doesn't feel very great. The nib kind of sucked ass. Um, but the Conklin Duraflex is a great pen. The nib is wonderful. So if they've somehow taken this shitty pen, or what's not, it's not, it's not terrible. I keep bashing it. It's okay. No, you it's just, okay. Dude, just, just go ahead and say it's shitty. I mean, to be honest, with that the fact. reason I bought it for $16 is because I got a $15 bottle of ink free with it. But anyway. <laughs> Um, if they've taken this shitty pen and put a good nib on it, I'd be interested in it. So what I'm here to ask, um, kind of kind of to Josh, but mostly to my viewers, should I purchase and review this pen? Would you guys like to see that? If so, I'll spend $16 that I've slaved away for at work, and I'll pick up this pen, um, and I'll... Do a review of it. So let me know if you're interested in that. Josh, what do you think? Do you think I should spend my, I spend my time am, and money doing it? Just because the mechanism, like the filling mechanism, looks cool. It's just uh, a, I feel like it's it's just a cartridge. I feel like it's the exact same. It is. It's very cool looking. It's literally and just a different the, nib on this pen. And the other point is the Conklin is 50 something dollars right now. So if you yeah, hate yeah. this pen, you still get a really bitchin' nib out of it. Potentially. Sixteen dollar nib is a damn good price for this kind of nib. Well, and see, if you don't want it, I'll take it. Well, I was, I was probably gonna give it to you anyway, <laughs> because I, it's hard to do giveaways on my channel because shipping costs money and I'm cheap. Um, when it comes to, I don't know. Anyway, wink, wink, wink. If you want anything, guys, pay for shipping. Yeah. <laughs> if people would pay for shipping, I've, 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 I probably need to go through my pen collection one day and get rid of some of them. Um, anyway. So this pen is directly competing with the Noodler's Nib Creeper, which is the same price. Um, it's a little bit, I think it's around the same size. It's Noodler's Flex Nib, it's a piston filler, it's smelly, and comes in a bunch of different colors. It's smelly? Um, yeah. What you just so, said? Yeah. Smelly? No, they, they really do have a scent to them. Um, oh. oh, okay. So they're they're really like biodegradable. Like um, oh, so, cool. I've only tried one Noodler's pen, and it was the Conrad, and it is Josh's now. Um, that pen is significantly more than this one, but it was very fiddly. And one thing I will say about the Monteverde Monza is I didn't really have to fiddle with it. It was just kind of mediocre right out the box. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, guys, it was. There's his review. It was mediocre <laughs> right out the box. <laughs> Shut off the camera. Um. No, but if I if I got this one, I would have to get the Nib Creeper too, just to uh, compare and contrast them. So that's something that I may look into. Again, let me know if you're interested in that, and we can kind of see. Because Side like you note. mentioned, Josh, the 
the step up from this is kind of that fifty to sixty dollar steel yeah. flex neb range. So yeah. Anyway, what's your side really, note? Really nice. Side note: I'm looking up the creeper now, and mm -hmm. it's not bad. I just what the hell is these lines on this fucking on this pin? Oh, like that's an ink window. I hate it. Oh, it's it's awful looking. I, I absolutely, yeah. Like, the pin's pretty until I see that, and then I'm like, okay, first of all, this reminds me of a bug, <laughs> and I don't like that. I just, I just don't like that. It just freaks me out. I don't. Why? So which Why? What's the point of that? Which one of these should I buy if I get one? Because, like I said, they're, they're the exact same price. Well, they're both $16. This one's $16.10, um, which is stupid. I would still say Omniflex. No, I meant just... the the color of the Noodler's Nip Creeper. Oh, good boy. I, I like the jade, I like the King Philip purple, and I like the lagoon. Okay, I'm gonna tell you now, if it cannot be any of these boring colors, it has to be one of the ones that are like mixy. Uh, Arizona's really nice. Arizona's really nice. I like the Vulcan's co uh, coral. Did you see jade? I do see jade. I'm not a huge fan of jade. Mm. King's Philip's purple is really nice. That's that's one I was looking at too, so I think that's the one I'm gonna go with. I like the pop yeah, color. Yeah, I think, yeah. Um, the other, yeah, because the other ones aren't really, yeah, they're not terrible. They used to have more colors. The colors are really nice. They used to have more. Noodlers um, has a lot of color options, so. Yeah. The um, Pema Tortoise is really nice. I actually like that one. But God, do I hate that stupid window. It's so ugly. We're actually supposedly going up to Asheville tomorrow. Um, we may be going hey. to Atlanta instead. If so, I know for a fact they have um, nib creepers up at... God, what's that? What's that pen store? Origami Ink. Um, so I may pick what, one up from there. What, 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 wait, 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 wait. When when did you make this plan? A couple weeks ago. Oh my God, Jacob! Are you, you didn't are, add me into it. Are you wanting it's to like go? It's like destroy. I can't now. I already made plans. I'm sorry. I could have canceled <laughs> them if I would have known. <laughs> it's literally two weeks ago. I'm I, I'm sorry. Ugh, I could have um, made plans with you, and then I had to make plans with other people. Oh no! I'm there's a, but those other people suck too. Um, but yeah, so rude. if, if there's interest in this, I may pick it up. I could, I could certainly be pushed into it. If nothing else to just see how it compares to the Nib Creeper. And I could, I could probably get three videos out of this. I could compare it to the Nib Creeper. I could compare it to the Duraflex and I could do a straight review of it. I can also compare it to the normal Monza and see if it's more compelling. That's four. I mean, if I made any money on this channel, that'd be a total return on investment. Like... <laughs> You have to make sure all those reviews are over 10 minutes. You know that, right? Like, that's that's perfect ad view amount of time is 10 minutes. You know I can't run ads, right? I'm saying if you were making money. If I was money. making money. Oh, most of my videos are over 10 minutes anyway. I don't think I'll, most, I don't think I'll run all. ads. You have, to, you have to, like, push that 10-minute line. If I'm making any money by the time I hit 1,000 subs, I'm able to actually run ads. Like, if, I'm, if anyone has donated my Patreon even a dollar, I'm just not going to turn ads on. I'm just going to fucking ignore it. <laughs> like because it makes you so little I mean anything's better than nothing but you know I mean if you're going to run ads you might as well just take that ad deal <laughs> every video you have you're just like this pin isn't good as da -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> every review is an ad yeah all of them I, I, think, I'd be, of I them. think I'd make more than a dollar then I would hope so <laughs> to sell my soul essentially that's yeah I mean mm, okay mm. segue Okay, next one. So, next one. this caught my attention because they're gorgeous. They really are. And I've they been really interested are. in the Lamy Studio before. I, 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 I feel like the only Lamy pens that anyone pays any attention to are the Safari, Safari the All Star. Nice. All Star is nice. And then they jump immediately from like $30 up to 150 bucks and go with the 2000 <laughs> yeah, because that's true. They they really do. <laughs> so no one, I don't see many reviews in the middle ground. So I'd love to pick one up, and I love this terracotta. I'm gl I'm guessing you like the olive. Yeah, no, I actually am really big fan of this terracotta. The it's olive's gorgeous. not bad. It's actually a really nice green. Like a lot of pens, I like that fugly do green. Do really, like really oversaturated bright. greens, yep. or they're really ugly yep, greens. Yep, yep. Olive is a nice shade of green, guys. Take notes. Olive is a nice shade of green if it's not see through. But yeah, I would love to pick up this Terracotta Studio. I yeah, think... this Terracotta is absolutely beautiful, though. It's it's absolutely beautiful. I can't find it anywhere in the U.S. I think it is European exclusive. We are what? on Fonto Plumo right now, but they have yeah. it, and it's pretty. It's like a it's like a um, 
65 euros. It's like orange and red and brown all had a baby. And it's like, psh, terracotta. That's, honestly, that is the best description. It's, when you think of clay, that's mm. kind of the color it is. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Like, that's basically what terracotta is, anyway. Basically. Yeah. But, so it's like 76 bucks. 76 US dollars. That's not a bad price for this pen. I actually am really a big fan of this pen. It's... I don't know why the ballpoint is so cheap compared to literally everything else but because you don't have to make a nib and roller balls are significantly better than ball points so they're um, no but with a roller ball you um you have to add a cap my problem is the roller ball too. the ball point doesn't look as good like I, it's because it doesn't have a cap it's just best. like a twist yes. to, yeah it's the ball point's honestly like 100 times better well ball points are also 100 times better than than i'm, I'm sorry roller balls are 100 times better than ball points anyway <laughs> you tried you try that's all that matters they're so much smoother they yeah they really are but yeah this pin is absolutely beautiful i love it it's, it's what? gorgeous wait a minute yeah wait a minute wait, wait, wait. have you clicked the pin like to look at it on photo pluma yeah like look under the pricing and it's like 65 euros yeah outside of the european 72. union yeah it's like what the you hell you don't have to pay that so wait, are we getting it for fifty three seventy two euros? If you ordered it from America, yeah. Oh my god. I mean, you have to pay shipping That's too. So, so scoundrel. No, it's VAT. You don't have to pay VAT because you're not in Europe. Scoundrels. <laughs> See, we we would be saving like what? It's not even $15. that much shipping. It is like three euros for shipping. Oh Bro. shit, we might. You want to go and have season one of these? <laughs> oh, yeah, I would honestly go half seas for this. This is a really nice pen. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm a little annoyed now <laughs> that I didn't look at this earlier. Because it's honestly, it really is. And I love So, what, what like, would it be, like 60 nibs. bucks? 65. About 65 dollars. It was 65 bucks, yeah. About 65, 68 bucks. Oh, and I love bad. Lamy's nibs because nibs my next good. has the same nib. And it's it just looks very streamlined. And it's very pretty, and I just... I like how the nibs are swappable, too, across 99% yes, of their pens. exactly. Yep. It's a, it's absolutely great. Go Lamy. You're the best. I don't know about the best, but they're pretty good. They, they're, they're reliable, which is a big thing, um, especially in fountain pens. You know, that reliability doesn't always happen. They're the best. Okay, speaking of pens... The speaking of pens, we should go half these in on these Mont Blanc Spider pens. What is okay? Whoa! I'm all about this. Uh, okay. Uh, Wait. Little let me disclaimer. look at this orange one because this orange one is really pretty. I know, right? So let me go what ahead and pop up a disclaimer. This? What is this um, picture? I'm terrified of spiders. I have as little to do with them as possible. Spiders are terrible. Arachnophobia. That being said, <laughs> these pins are fucking awesome. <laughs> now, Ooh. the two that that I like specifically are the Mont Blanc Heritage Collection. Rouge et Noir, Spider Metamorphosis, Special Edition, Coral, or Black. Rouge et Noir. Yeah. Noir. Did, did I say Mont Blanc? I meant Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc, yeah. <laughs> you you got to be douchey about it. People get mad. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Okay. This is actually really nice. I'm, like, I'm just looking at the color dude, options. Like, these are really nice. Go to pens. the last what picture the and you can see the nib. The nib has a spider on it and it's amazing. Yeah, I see that. It is so nice. Look at the um, the white one. The black one? With the one. spider web effect? No. Oh, no. that You know that one's significantly more expensive, right? Yes, I would guess as much. It's, oh, these don't have prices spider. on them, do they? No, they do not. <laughs> None of these have prices, which okay, I'm like, so good job, you guys. Just throw me in there. <laughs> this is honestly... Like, these are... Okay. They're doing the smart thing, because this is next to October and fall and this is the absolute perfect pen for this yeah and it, it's a beautiful design it is it's an interesting design it's so nice the orange one is so why does it keep giving me the it's damn a little under seven hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> I knew you, I knew you'd react like that what the uh, the spider web one I think is it closer. Why do you do this to me, Jacob? Why do you show me these things and they're like, mm, but you got the money for it? I think the spider web one's closer to uh, two grand. 
Mm. That hurts. Yeah. They also have one with a freaking snake on it. <gasps> Look at this. Send it to me. I got I got the link. Give me that link. Oh my god. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. And look at the nib on this one. It's so nice. Oh no, I do know which one you're talking about because yes, I, I want I anyway. I want that one in coral as well. It's, it's I think it's only brown though. Oh, you have no. They have they have this one in coral. Coral. It's a curl. Do they? Curl. 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 Give me that curl color. Uh, I see, love it. I watched review. I, I watched review I'm from a, um, a, uh, Fig Boot on Pens, David. Of this one, and he pointed out how the slit on the nib is like the snake's tongue, and it looks pretty cool. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's so nice looking. I like Spider One better, guys. I, okay, you understand something. Look, I, I need... love the Spider One, but the snake one is awesome. See, if, I would take that. If, if I took that company's money, I could probably get us fancy spider and snake pens. We can get a matching set. You could have. Don't you feel bad now? No, my viewers should feel bad because I turned it down because <laughs> I love them. All, Come on, viewers. All you boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, men and women, I love you all, and I turn down money for you. <laughs> so buy buy me the spider pen. No, <laughs> that's um, not how that works. <laughs> but good, oh, they do have the orange one. That's really not. I just, dude, I'm telling you now, this is like right, the mm, honestly the nicest collection. I just. Which was a Mont Blanc because that was so pricey. It makes yeah. you want to cry. Yeah, but Mont Blanc cost a fortune. They they do. They know it. They know their. Here's they know the uh, be, here's the coral snake pen. It's that's not the coral snake pen. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jacob, that's such a good price for that coral snake pen. Dude, I'd be buying eight of them right now. Are you kidding me? Honestly, though, I would probably max out my. Uh, credit card again. Okay, there's the coral snake pen. <laughs> coral snake pen. It's oh wow, it's even gold. Yeah. Uh, I love it though. Honestly, like the brown one, I loved, but this one's so much better because the snake head is in gold and it's the best. It's just. The... I kind of hate the top because it looks like a Nickelodeon blob, but <laughs> that's the only way I can really describe it. Oh, they also and their, have their a, logo um... is not even that bad. It's just as Mont Blanc. Like, it's not intrusive. This snake on the cap has freaking emerald eyes. So Josh, instant you, love. You like like modern slang, right? Like extra and stuff. So this what? pen that I'm looking at right now is I don't, very what, wait, extra. What? <laughs> this pen I'm looking at right now is very extra. I'm gonna send you the that link. Was... It is another snake pen. This one is silver with snake etchings in the body, gold snake trim, pen. and a little snake clip has rubies <gasps> in the eyes. Bruh. Right. I love this, right. though. It looks cool as shit. Holy snap. But I don't know how much this costs. Probably a ton of it's, money. Yeah, it has to be a ton. This is... Probably several okay, thousand dollars. Okay, okay, okay. This is honestly... This is yes, the pen I would like be two, like, so. I have to carry around regardless, because this is the most bitchin' pen. It, it's exactly $2,000. It's like nineteen uh, ninety five. Is it worth it? Yeah, fuck yeah. Yes, it is. It's <laughs> oh, so apparently it doesn't specify what metal, but it says the cap and body are made of metal and then coated with platinum. Mm. It's also Jesus a piston filler. Christ. It's also a piston filler, like all of Mont Blanc's pens. Ooh, so, nice. Yeah, all these are piston fillers. Wait, does it come with ink? It does come with ink. Fucking better. Damn, it comes with what? Eight, nine colors. Wait, one, two, three. Is that just nine colors? Is that just it's the compatible inks. list, or is that actually how many inks come with it? It has to be with it because these are all fall colors. I don't think so, because it's listed on all the pens at the bottom, if you look. All fall co refills. Oh, oh, they're the, um, the refills that come with it. That's the colors with it, I think. I don't know. That's what I'm going to You can only use bottled ink with it, I though. I love it. I don't know, then. Okay, it just says refills. I know. I see it. I don't know what the hell Mont Blanc's talking about. They off the damn mind. We love you, Mont Blanc. Please keep making pretty stuff. <laughs> That we can definitely can never afford. That we can never buy, but yeah, please make it. And please get rid of your Nickelodeon blob. It just kills it for me. <laughs> like, I'm really sad that it looks like that. I just, I just found this really cool picture I'm going to share with you. It's a uh, it's a close-up of that snake nib. I'm it's supposed to be stars. I'm going to let you look at it. Uh, 
that's so pretty. Right. God, that's just so nice looking. So holy crap, I love that. So while we're talking about how Jock's just gonna max out his credit card, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the last item for discussion tonight. Or to, absolutely beautiful. This is it's tonight for us because it's like a little after midnight when we're doing this. Um, oh god, is it really the end? I mean, we're getting close. How long do you think we've been going? Oh, I see it now. It's been 50 minutes. 50 minutes. No, I meant like, for some reason, I had all my tabs doubled. So I'm like, damn, we have so many damn... We have so much to go through now right now. Like, why no. did I have my tabs doubled? What um, the hell? So, uh, this is on the nibsmith.com. <sighs> and me. we talked about the Caveco Art Sports last week. Which were, for lack of a better word, overpriced. Overpriced so much. Just say that. Honestly, so much. <laughs> I didn't say it. Josh did. Um, so, bring me at the state, guys. On Instagram today, um, Dan Smith posted this, and <laughs> it is pretty fucking cool. God, it's really pretty. It is a completely one hundred percent blacked out Caveco all, all sport. black night edition, made of they... solid chunks of milled aluminum. Mm. It is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. Guys. It really is. It's beautiful. But you know, if you want to screw it up, you can also pay extra money and get a different color nib. Fucking, who, if, if you put a gold or silver color nib on this, I'm going to punch you in the Honestly, damn head. Honestly, yeah, you need to be punched in the head. This is so stupid. It's, you can also pay extra to get a freaking different colored clip. What is the point? They need to offer a black, black clip and a, um. It's funny that it? they R offer a. Ruthenium plated. Gold nib. They they offer a black nib, but not a black clip. I'm like, that's so stupid. They they only have Quebec standard line stuff with this. So, mm, but this is a really nice pen. Oh yeah, there aren't too many pictures. Only four pictures here, but yeah. they are nice. I own uh, two Quebecos. I own I own, do own one All Sport. Um, it's the Bung Box June Bride mashup pen. Beautiful pen. This is cool though. For this to be like a pocket pen, and it, it's kind of going for that stealthy look too, so it's very yes. minimal, very unobtrusive, Ooh, very only classy. 700. Yeah, there's only 700 of these made. Ooh. 120 I bucks. Would, I would drop that money for that though. That's absolutely beautiful. That is so much cheaper than the, than the art sports, and in my opinion, more compelling. The art sports were so ugly though, so it. This is going this to be is... more durable. It's going to look cooler. And it's going to write better. It honestly already looks better. It, so. it probably won't write better, but it, it you'll think it will. Because you're, like, you're like, I say 50 It's bucks. pretty enough that I'm going to say it's going to write better. <laughs> but yeah. 90% this... of the ninety percent of it's just how pretty it is. And then the last 10% is like, oh, this, this nib is really nice. Everyone so knows that check out. They, they do have the All Sport normal in like a black version. But... That's just boring as shit. So, because the nib is silver and the name, Caveco All Sport Germany, is written in silver and it looks silly. Really? Yeah, hold on. I'll, I'll send you a picture real quick. You should. I was going to say, you could probably play around with it. You know those people that, like, pay the extra money to get, like, the black nib and a black clip or probably was, like, super pissed? <laughs> yeah, so this one here, here's... Fifty dollars, just a little less than half the price, but it's not. It just doesn't look as good. No, it looks really okay. The thing you've got. Okay, the thing. If no one actually sees the picture, let me try to describe it like this. It's just a standard black. The Quebec black Allsport. is a very standard matte. Not even. Oh God, it's not even matte. It's almost like it's a gray tint to it. This one is a literal pure black. Yeah, like, th this this nib and finial. If you look close, they yes. look like they've been coated in like black fingernail polish, like lacquer. That's literally what it looks like. It's like lacquer black. It's beautiful. And the, the if you ever want a black pen, this is what you need to get. Yeah, the body and the cap are. They appear to be. I know it's not. I don't think you can anodize aluminum black. I'm not sure. I know you can't anodize titanium black. It's absolutely beautiful. But it looks Honestly, like it's though. been. Um, anodized or painted i think you can't i guess you can anodize aluminum black anyway it looks like it's been anodized and then maybe um textured bead blasted something like that i'm not sure the term for it but it, it has 
a little bit of texture to it. And as someone who has an all sport, it's not unpleasant, it's not slippery, it's a nice middle ground, and it feels good in your hand. I really like my all sport. I paid a little bit more than this, but mine came with a bottle of ink and stuff. But this looks fucking sick. <laughs> There's only 700 of them. It's, so yeah. this would be a kick ass Halloween pin. Which is it, when it comes yeah. out, it comes out in October. So, yeah, this yes. this would be dope as hell, with some dime lime pumpkin in it, some nice orange. Oh fuck, I, I'm making myself want to buy this pen now. If it's all black, <laughs> I would really love to have like a really nice shiny. Your um, oh god, the black ink you have with the glitter in it. Uh, Coal sack nebula. Yes. So, yeah, so you, you'd have to get this in broad nib. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Regardless, it's it's. I would think it would be perfect with it. Well, the cool part about ordering from the nib smith, um, Dan Smith, he actually you can get him to tune your oh, nib geez. for free. He will tune and smooth it. Yeah, I see that sure, down here. It's one of the options you got. Yep, you can make it. So it, if if you're wanting to do a glitter ink, I would tune and smooth. Go wet, maybe extra wet, depending on how good your paper is. Include some images of your grip for him, and he will grind that fucking nib to perfection. So, if there was That's ever... That's really nice, though, for him to do that. Yeah. If there was ever a Caveco I was interested in for $120, this ain't bad. You're starting to get this into that gold, honestly, nib, yeah. gold nib territory, but if you like steel nibs, and you've tried gold, and you don't really see a compelling reason to flip over, this is pretty cool. Especially if you it, want to stuff yeah. that pocket pen. Mm. It's, yes. That's, it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> like, I keep saying that, but, like... My my wanting for like an actual matte black pen. There aren't many of them. I have my um There's really not. Let me let me show you real quick. Um So I have this. This is my um let me find a proper picture of it cuz these damn things okay. are so inaccurate. This is terrible lighting, but this is about the best it's going to get. So it's a very similar color to this, where it's like completely blacked out. Um, but it has a black gold-plated nib. It's the Palette Vanishing Point. It's the one that I like the most. And it looks fucking awesome. Yeah, I've seen that one. It's really nice. It's really neat. It looks gorgeous. Here's... Ignore the nib color on this one, because it's inaccurate. But here's a slightly better lit photo. So you can kind of see it's that same... Like the hardware is black. It's just blacked out. It looks it looks yes, fantastic. It's very it's very nice. I love putting super bright colored inks in that, and I just calmed myself down because I was sitting here and I was thinking like, I need to buy this pen. October's coming up. No, nope. <laughs> I'm just gonna carry my vanishing point with some dye line pumpkin in it. I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> I mean, but this is a tempting pen. This is gorgeous. You still need to buy the pen. I don't. I don't have 120 dollars to drop on this pen, dude. I will somehow make. $120 appear in my pocket to drop on this pen. You gonna get it? I kinda really want it. I really honestly like this pen. It's it's gorgeous. It really is. God, I would cry trying to like be I like, this is worth it, guys. But Now, I will say, this is anodized aluminum, so any of you out there that buy this, when you buy it, get a little leather pen slip. Caveco sells them. They're like 15 bucks. Put it in the pen slip. Keep it safe, because with this being black, if it gets scratched, it's going to look silver, and Ooh. you're going to be pissed. Yeah, that's going to come through really hard. Now, I will say, Didn't I've had my that. vanishing point for coming up on almost two years now, like a year and a half. I have not scratched yeah. it once. No scratches. I've carried it in no my scratches. bare pocket with my phone. I've carried, I generally carry them in a case, but no scratches on it yet. I did drop it one time and completely fucking destroy the nib. Which is detailed in my pilot yeah. or Shizuku Asagao video. That was horrible. And I got very upset and I was at work and I was trying to keep my stuff together because I was training someone. It's a high pressure situation, but it's okay. I have a new nib in there now. <laughs> but um yeah. Um Caveco all sports are great. If not if any of you are curious in the pen in journal, I do have a review of it up. Same thing will apply, this is just gonna be a different color. Somewhat similar price point, it's about twenty dollars cheaper than the one I got. Jake. Um I'm going to have to pause for just one second, okay? Sure. Okay, there we go. 
Yes. I paused it for a second. I couldn't figure out how to unpause it. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. Apologies. It's supposed to be raining. It's slowly starting, so I need no, to good. Um, cut up out, I guess, technically. Okay. So well, we, 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 were, we were just finished. I to, yeah, yeah, I apologize. No, no problem. Um, so, yeah, that, that was the last topic for today, guys. Um, don't forget to check out all of our other stuff. Thank you, Josh, for being part of this. No problem. Always happy to do this. All of you leave your kind comments to Josh so he feels guilted in coming back for a third and 30th time. Um, <laughs> thank you all okay. for listening. Go to my Patreon. Support me financially so I don't have to be a shill. And um, have a good night. Bye, guys. Okay. Bye, everyone. Okay, we can wrap that up. How the hell do you stop this?